Hi you guys, it's your girl Janana Cole here and welcome back to my channel. So I know that I have been missing for a little while now. I do apologize you guys for going missing. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know the big reason why I kind of disappeared off the face of the earth, especially on this channel. Next week I will be dropping a video explaining my big life update and what's going on. I wanted to wait for a piece of information and I won't be getting that information until next week. So once I get that, I will drop the video and y'all will have the tea on what's going on with your girl. Cause I know y'all like, what the heck? Like she just disappeared. <laughs> I know I do apologize. If you follow me on Instagram, you could probably guess what the major life update is. So head over to my Instagram if you just want to hurry up and get the tea. But yeah, next week I will be dropping the video explaining everything. In the meantime, in between time, I was like, you know what? I can't leave my girls hanging. And I have been getting requested to make this video quite a few times. I even had some of you guys DMing me on my Instagram asking me to make this video in particular so today's video as you guys can see by the title i'm going to be sharing with you guys my hair journey i'm going to be showing pictures in this video and just explaining like every process that my hair has went through so yeah also y'all don't be laughing at these pictures because these are some throwback pictures but yeah i've been blabbering enough in this intro if you are ready to see my hair journey and all the different phases that my hair has went through then make sure you guys keep on watching and also don't forget to smash that like button and without further ado, let's get straight into today. So I was trying to find pictures on my Facebook, like any old pictures that I could find from when my hair journey first started. And y'all, I didn't realize how hard it was. Like honestly, this makes me want to like take pictures and have physical pictures in a photo album because when you're young, like you just be deleting stuff. You don't care about holding on to memories. So it wasn't until I started like trying to make this video when I realized like, girl, where is all your photos? <laughs> So a lot of these pictures that you guys are going to see is actually from a very old YouTube channel that I had. So embarrassing. All of those videos should be private now, I think. Every once in a while, like, a video will pop up and I'm like, oh, I thought I put that on private. But yeah, so a lot of these clips, I just like screenshotted it from old videos that I filmed when I was like in middle school and high school. So yeah, but before I start with the first picture, um, I do want to say that when I was younger, I think I got my first perm when I was like five or six. I remember I was living in Germany at the time. I was in kindergarten and I remember my mom like relaxed my hair and I remember my head like having that burning sensation. So I would say ever since like kindergarten to... Probably like middle school, my hair has always been relaxed. So I didn't really start going natural until like middle, till like high school, like freshman year of high school. So that's just to give y'all a backstory on my hair. And my hair has always kind of been like right here, like collarbone length. It was never like longer than that. So yeah, not until, you know, now. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get into this first picture. So this picture that you guys are seeing is from a screenshot from a very old video of mine. So this was from nine years ago. I believe this was in 2014. So at this time, I was either a freshman or a sophomore in high school. So as you guys can see, my hair is curly. So that is when I was 100% curly so to give you guys a backstory on this sorry you guys i've never done this type of video before so i do apologize um when i so me and my family we moved to the state that i live in now once i was in like eighth grade we moved to the city and the state that we live in now being up here they didn't have a lot of black hairstylists so i was coming from a hairstylist that was like always relaxing my hair i had a pretty good regimen with that hairstylist so moving from there and coming all the way to where I live now they literally didn't have a lot of black hairstylists or a lot of hairstylists that knew how to do black hair so when I came up here it was really hard for me and my mom to find somebody to do our hair and to keep up with our perms so I actually ran into this lady and this lady was telling my mom she was like you know I can get your guys's hair pin straight without you having to use a relaxer and when she told us that me and my mom we were like what is this lady talking about like we just didn't think that that was possible so she was like just give me a few months and i trust trust me like i will show you that you can straighten your hair and get it straight without having to have like a relaxer so i was going to that lady i didn't get relaxer she started like straightening my hair and before i knew it like i didn't know at the time i was transitioning but 
looking back on my natural hair journey that's definitely what I was doing at the time so all of my relaxers started growing out and I just started straight going to that lady to straighten my hair and the next thing you know when I would wash my hair I started seeing my curls come through and I was obsessed you guys like I was so obsessed so during like freshman year and sophomore year in this picture I was like super duper natural like I didn't want to straighten my hair I didn't want to do nothing just because I was super obsessed with how my curls look so my hair was all black but I decided to go to my hairstylist and she did the red so that's why in this picture you guys see my hair curly and you see it red um, I'm also going to show you guys another picture <laughs> again this is screenshotted from a video so that's why I'm like kind of smiling but kind of talking so in this video I do have red color at the ends of my hair and that is what my natural curl pattern looks like so at this time I was not heat trained I wasn't like a straight hair natural I was super obsessed with my natural curls at this time so that is what my natural curls look like I've always kind of had like a looser texture when it came to like my curly hair like honestly it's giving like jerry curl vibes like I don't know my hair isn't like I don't really know what my exact hair type is like my curl type all I know is that my hair is, has always been on like the looser side when it comes to the curls so that was the phase where I was like super obsessed with my curly hair so then as time went on I started experimenting more with my hair again this next picture that y'all are gonna see honey oh my gosh like I just these pictures are just crazy but again this is still 2014 this is when I uh, started trying to like straighten my hair I, at this point I stopped going to that hairstylist I don't remember what happened I think she probably moved away so I started like straightening my own hair and I had this really cheap like flat iron like y'all it was the worst flat iron ever <laughs> like that flat iron was the worst but as you guys can see I tried to straighten my hair myself so that's like the picture that you guys are seeing now it should be this picture um, just in case when I'm editing but yeah so in this picture because I was wearing my hair natural I wasn't like getting trims as often and I wasn't like cutting my hair my hair was kind of uneven due to like breakage and stuff so that's why in this picture as you guys can see my ends are not like straight like they're very jagged and my hair was very uneven because I didn't straighten my hair often and when I did like I just didn't know what I was doing y'all I was doing my hair by myself and I was trying to do the best that I could do during this time so yeah my hair kind of looks poofy um, like I said at this point my hair wasn't used to being straightened so um, yeah also this time I was super obsessed with like trying to make my hair look longer so I used to like force my hair down like y'all I don't know let me know if I was the only one that did this but I used to like always like be like this with my head like that's when my head was to the side because I used to always like try to stretch my hair out and it's crazy because I remember during that time I used to think my hair was so long and it's like look at my hair now like my hair is long now but like compared to my hair now to then like I just thought my hair was so long and I used to always try to stretch my neck out and be like oh my god my hair is so long and it was not that long at all so yeah that was 2014 now we're gonna move on to 2015 so again around this time I'm in high school I'm experimenting with my hair so this is when I started straightening my hair more I feel like this is when I kind of started getting tired of my naturally curly hair because it was so time consuming make sure you guys watch my video on why I decided to why I decided to become a straight hair natural because that will give you guys the reasons why I just chose to be a straight hair natural um, so this is kind of when I noticed like the difference between straightening my hair and like having it in its natural state it was just like I love the curls but I was just kind of overdoing it every day so in this picture as you guys can see my hair is purple okay my hair is purple um, I would say my hair was like probably armpit length or maybe a little shorter I really don't know but you guys can see it in the picture um, that's when I really started getting good at like straightening my hair so this was 2015 my hair was purple um, I experimented a lot like with my hair especially when it came to color my hair was always like it always took color really well and I never really had like any experiences with like my hair falling out or anything so at that time I had purple hair and I started getting into straightening my hair so that was 2015 so now 2016 I don't I think I was still I think I dyed my hair black I think I had dyed my hair back to black. I couldn't find any pictures from 2016. I know I had them, but I just have to really look, and I'm not even going to hold y'all. 
I wasn't trying to look, okay? So fast forward to 2017. This is when I started experimenting with clip-in extensions. Now, as you guys can see in the picture, it looks like my hair is like super long. And honestly, that looks like my hair, but that was not my hair. And I remember back in the day, I used to tell people like, they'd be like, is that your hair? I used to be like, yes, this is my hair. And it was not my hair, y'all. Those was clip-in extensions, child. I don't know why I was lying to them folks. But and people used to always try to like look and see, and I used to be like, no, don't touch my head. <laughs> Girl, I was lying to them people. I don't know why I was lying like that. But yeah, so in this picture, I dyed my hair black. This was 2017, a year after I graduated high school. Um, yeah, I was wearing clipping extensions really, really, really heavy. So honestly, I don't know how long my hair was in 2016 and 2017. But if I had to guess, I would still say it was right here. Like, y'all, I felt like my hair was not growing. Like, I felt like my hair would always get to, like, armpit length. And then it wouldn't grow any further. But that is because... I was not properly taking care of my hair, especially when I started wearing clip-ins. I was like, what I got to really take care of my hair for? Like, I got long hair, instant long hair with the clip-ins. So I honestly didn't really keep up with my hair the, as best as I should have, if that makes sense. So 2016, 2017, I was experimenting with clip-ins and just trying new stuff. So I don't know. My hair, your hair is always growing. But if you don't moisturize your hair and take care of your hair, then you're not going to retain that length. So, yeah, I wasn't really retaining my length well. It was growing, but I wasn't retaining the length that was there. So, yeah, your girl's wearing some clipping extensions. So fast forward to October 2nd of 2017. This was my hair. So this is, again, I was still experimenting with color. The same lady that did my red hair and my purple hair is the same lady that did the brown color in my hair. So I had found a stylist that I trusted with my hair. She was really good with doing natural hair. I loved her. I still, she's, she's still here, but like she kind of flies around to different states. So she's not always here, but she was like the only lady that I ever trusted to do my hair. Like to this day, I, tr I still trust her. Like if I ever want to get color done to my hair or if I ever want somebody else to like straighten my hair, She's the only lady besides like my mom that I would trust to do my hair to this day because she's been doing my hair since I was a freshman in high school, like especially the color. So I remember I wanted to shake it up a little bit and I wanted to get this color. Now the backstory behind this color, stay with me now. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to give y'all all the details about my hair journey, okay? So this color, we actually got this color by accident. I went in and I think I wanted to dye my hair burgundy, like a burgundy red. I think that's the color I wanted. I wanted like a burgundy red. So I went in and my hairstylist, she didn't believe in like bleaching. So she did, she used like a different process to lighten my hair. She was lightening my hair using whatever process she uses. I don't know what she did, but she was lightening up my hair. And I guess my hair was like that super pretty light brown color. And she was like, now listen, I don't want to tell you what to do with your hair, but before I put this red color on your hair, I want to show you like the color that it is now naturally. I didn't put any extra hair color in your hair. I just lightened your hair and this is what your hair looked like. So she rinsed me out. We looked in the mirror and I was so obsessed with this brown color. So I just chose to stick to that brown color. So that's not like a hair dye or a color she mixed up. She literally just lightened my hair and my hair was like that brown color. And we just chose to stick to that color. So, boom. The end of 2017, I had my hair this super light brown color. Um, and fast forward to, this is February of 2018. I still have that super pretty, really light brown color. To this day, that is like my favorite hair color that I've ever had. Like, uh, I love that color. Like, I still really, I still really like that color. It was just so rich and vibrant. And I remember people used to always ask me like, what hair dye is that? What hair color is that? And it literally wasn't a hair color. It was just like she lightened my hair and that's the color that it was when she lightened it. So yeah, so again, this picture with 2018, my hair is light brown. Again, I'm not sure how long my hair really was because I was still wearing clip-in extensions. I actually bought some clip-ins and tried my best to dye the extensions to match my hair. So if I had to guess, again, I feel like my hair just didn't grow. Like for years, I feel like my hair was the same length every single year. And it's because I was not taking, I wasn't properly taking care of my hair. So I wasn't retaining length. So if I had to guess, my hair was probably like right here. 
honestly like i don't know that's my guess but i really honestly don't know because i was wearing clip-ins all right fast forward to the beginning of 2019 2019 was a major year for me okay so 2019 this is all of my hair i dyed my hair back to black because i just got tired of like touching up my roots and at this time my stylist was kind of traveling around so i started lightening my roots by myself and i just got tired of doing that so i was like you know what i'm just gonna dye my hair black so I dyed my hair black and as you guys can see my hair was super short okay and I'm not gonna lie this shortcut kind of ate though like my hair had a lot of body a lot of movement like I like the little bang action I got there like I'm not gonna lie this was kind of a look like this was kind of a vibe I like how voluminous my hair looks super duper cute so yeah as you guys can see my hair was shorter um it was black and during 2019 right after i took this picture i'll never forget i had put my hair in a low ponytail and i started experimenting with wigs now this is a very big point in my hair journey because i feel like this low-key kind of contributed to my hair growth in a way because all of 2019 i was obsessed with wigs okay i wore wigs every single day every single day like after i took that picture it might have been before I took that picture because that could have been like the beginning of January, but I just posted it in February. I don't know. All I know is 2019, I wore nothing but wigs, okay? So I literally, y'all, I barely washed my hair. Like looking back, I'm like, oh girl, I don't know how I was doing that. But I would put my hair, I don't I don't know how to corn roll, so to this day I still don't know how to corn roll. So I would put my hair in a low ponytail, put my wig cap on and i would just wear wigs like i was super obsessed with wigs and at nighttime i would wear the wigs where you could take it off like a closure kind of wig so at nighttime i would take my wig off and take my wig cap off and that was it i would just leave my hair in a low ponytail and like every once in a while i would wash my hair straight like sh like blow dry it out and put it in the low ponytail like I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I low-key kind of neglected my hair in 2019. Like, I really didn't do anything to it. But at the same time, I kind of feel like that contributed to my hair growth because the biggest thing when it comes to growing your hair out is leaving your hair alone. After you give your hair the basic necessities that it needs, leave your hair alone. Don't keep touching it and doing all this extra stuff with it and, you know, dyeing it different colors and putting it up in these different styles. Like low manipulation for your hair is the best when it comes to hair growth so that's why if you wear a lot of wigs you can grow your hair you just have to make sure you take care of your hair underneath now you can't just put a wig on and not do nothing but yeah even though i wasn't doing i was doing the bare minimum my hair grew a lot next this picture was the end of 2019 so during the summertime of 2019 i moved to atlanta for like six months with my boyfriend at the time just because I wanted to try it out, I got tired of living where I was living and I wanted to try something new. Um, I absolutely did not like living in Atlanta, so I moved back to the state I live in now. But I remember one day I was telling my boyfriend at the time, my ex, I was telling him like, I'm so tired of wearing wigs, like I really miss my natural hair, like I want to wear my hair out. So his mom had a friend who had a hair salon. So I went there, he treated me to get my hair done and y'all, ever since that lady did my hair, I was sold. I didn't want to wear another wig after that. I My hair, like the way she did my hair was 10 out of 10. My hair was silky. It was smooth. I kept like, you know when you first get a silk press, you just be like swinging your hair. Like I kept swinging my hair. I was just amazed at how beautiful my hair looked and how long it had gotten. I think when I had got it straightened, I think it was like almost bra strap length. So imagine the beginning of 2019 my hair was like up to here towards the end of 2019 it was like almost bra strap length so that was a lot of growth for me and in this picture that you guys see it's kind of not a good picture as far as like my hair but um towards the end of 2019 that's when I started wearing my natural hair more so I completely let the wigs go I was like I'm not wearing no wigs ever again I was like my hair is too beautiful to be hiding it under a wig like ever since that day when i went to that salon i was never the same like that's really when i started like doing my hair my hair routine like straightening my hair every two to three weeks like that's when i really started doing that so 
yeah that was the end of 2019 as you guys can see i had like that light brown color towards the end um that was because the black the black hair dye was actually wearing off so my brown from the previous color was still coming through Whew, i feel like i'm talking a lot but i gotta give y'all the details okay so this picture is 2020 this is the be the beginning of 2020 i had freshly dyed my hair black because as you guys can see from the previous picture i don't know if you guys can really tell but i had like a light brown color towards the end of my hair and i was like you know what i just want to like completely start fresh and i want i want to dye my hair jet black for some reason i always like bounce between the two colors like i always like one minute i want jet black hair and then the next minute i want light brown hair like there's no in between and it just sucks because if you know like once you dye your hair black especially with the box dye like it's hard to try to like turn around and lighten your hair back up so i always bounce around between the two so this was when i was on my i want jet black hair kick so as you guys can see look at my hair my hair looks really healthy in this picture it's jet black and i think it was like right above my boob so i don't know if you guys can really see but like trying to compare it maybe i'll put the picture over here um so 2020 my hair was jet black and i think it in that picture it looked like it stopped like right there so this is my hair now my hair is like all the way down to here but in that picture it looked like my hair stopped like right here like right above my boob so i would say that was about like bra strap length for me um and at this time i wasn't really wearing my hair in its naturally curly state at this point i would consider myself a full-blown straight hair natural because every two to three weeks i was straightening my hair and yeah that was it like i wasn't really wearing my hair in its natural state in 2020 um i was more so towards the summertime like i would occasionally wear it in its natural state um especially a lot more than i do now uh 2020 i was definitely wearing it more um in its natural state like in the summertime but yes that is the length of my hair in 2020 so fast forward so between 2020 and 2021 i had a major random hair growth i still to this day don't really know what necessarily contributed to that i feel like it was just me sticking to a routine taking my vitamins and just giving my hair like the basic needs like just the basic thing that it needs but i really feel like having a solid regimen like washing my hair every three weeks taking my vitamins you know moisturizing my ends like just doing the basic things and just leaving it alone like once i straighten it of course i touch my hair around my fingers through my hair but i don't really do a lot of hairstyles like if you notice i don't really do i don't really wear my hair up a lot i don't really do like these different styles like buns and all these different stuff to my hair i literally straighten it or i'll curl it with the curling iron or i'll crimp it and occasionally i'll wear it in a ponytail but that's it i don't really do a whole bunch of hairstyles with my hair so 2021 this is march 30th on my birthday this was my 23rd birthday um as you guys can see i really like this dress okay i was really giving in this picture i like this picture <laughs> but as you guys can see my hair is still jet black and my hair is all the way down to pretty much my butt like if you guys see 2020 my hair was like right here like right above my boob i would say it was like bra strap length 2021 my hair was like i don't know i had a major hair growth like my hair went from here to like down here like down my back touching my butt so that was my hair in 2021 at this point like i said i'm a full-blown straight hair natural i don't really wear my hair um in its natural state as often i just straighten it i'm sticking to my routine and yes my hair looks really good again every time i look back like every time i look at my hair jet black i'm like oh my gosh i want to dye my hair jet black and then like when my hair is not jet black i mean then when my hair is jet black i'd be looking at when my hair is like brown like kind of the color it is now like as you guys can see i kind of have like that brownish color every time i see my hair like this i'm like oh my gosh i miss my brown hair like i always flip flop like i always do so like looking at this i'm like oh my gosh i love the jet black like that was eating but anyways <laughs> that was in march of 2021 then um october of 2021 that's when i went to my hairstylist and i wanted to get my brown hair like i said i always have this pattern like one minute i want light brown hair the next minute i want black hair brown black brown black i always flip-flop so i had jet black hair and i was looking at pictures and i was like 
oh my gosh i miss my hair light brown like i'm tired of the black hair i want something different so i went to my hairstylist who has always did my color from the beginning the same lady that did my color when i was in high school till now she happened to be in my city and i was like listen i want my hair to be the same color as this like y'all see going back to this picture in 2018 when my hair was like super brown i sent her that picture and i was like i want my hair to be that color again so she was telling me like since you dyed your hair black like we're not gonna be able to get it to that color especially because i said she was very anti-bleach like she doesn't really like bleaching people's hair um so i don't know the process that she uses i don't know how she like lightens i don't know how she does it but she told me like listen i'm not going to be able to get your hair that light like it was like it used to be because you use box um hair dye for one and for two you use black semi-permanent hair dye i didn't know i used per semi-permanent black hair some type of hair dye i used that she said was going to be really hard to lift so when i went to her i already had in my head that my hair is not going to be as brown as it used to be um but my roots were actually really brown like because that was like new hair and it hasn't been dyed before i don't know if you guys can tell in this picture but my roots were like really really brown like i remember walking out the salon i was like dang my roots are kind of like the color i really want but the rest of my hair wasn't really that brown like it was like slightly like if you look in the sun it was like brown so pretty much the color that you guys see right here like a lot of you guys really like this color and like towards the back of my hair you guys can see that brown color in my hair so it's kind of like i have like little highlights because she said the back of my head really took well to like the lightning like lighting so as you guys can see the back of my head is like more brown than the front i don't know if you guys can see that. it's kind of like two tones so yeah that's kind of what's going on with the color of my hair so the end of 2021 i decided to go brown so that's when i dyed my hair brown and as you guys can see my hair is down it's touching my butt crack okay y'all my hair is touching my butt crack at this point so fast forward to this is april of 2022 like i said in, in certain lighting my hair looked really brown and then some of it it didn't but I added this picture in because I wanted to show you guys the length of my hair. So this was 2022 in April last year. Um, my hair, again, is literally touching my butt crack. Like, it's, it's, it's down there to my butt at this point. Um, and I still have the same color in, same brownish color that looks different in different lighting. And then fast forward to this year, 2023. So my hair is, like, literally at my hips. It's, like, all the way down to my hip. When I put my hair in the back, it's like it touches like the top of my butt crack. <laughs> and I remember I used to always say, I want my hair to touch my butt crack. And sis, it be touching my butt crack now. Okay, like I'll be having to cut it sometimes. Like I'll be cutting it because I'm like, okay, I don't want it to be all up in my crack. I just wanted it to touch the top of it. So yeah, this is me 2023. This is the beginning of the year. My hair is really long and shiny. Um, ever since I got my hair lightened in 2021 to like that brownish color i never went back so that's why it kind of looks like i have like it kind of looks like the ends of my hair is like brown but all of this at the top is just my natural hair color so my natural hair all this is like new growth till probably about like right here i would say is when the brown starts so all the way from here to down is like the old color that was in my hair but all of this up here is just new growth i never went back so i don't know you guys could probably see it better on this side i never went back to touch it up so like look at all that growth right there that's a lot of growth i never went back to like get my roots touched up or anything honestly my plan is to kind of like grow the color out as much as i can and have a bunch of like virgin untouched uncolored hair and then i really kind of want to get that brown color again so I don't know i'm thinking about like maybe i'll go back and have her lighten this because all of this is new growth and all of this is virgin hair so if she lightens this up all of this will probably be like that really light brown color so i'm kind of just growing the color out and trying to figure out if i want to leave it like this or if i want to lighten it again so you guys comment down below should i just leave my hair like this color because once this grows out it's not going to be like this pretty brown color towards the ends i really like this color right here but i don't know so right now i don't have any plans to 
cut my hair or, or color my hair. I'm just kind of leaving my hair alone and letting it do whatever it wants to do. But yes, you guys, I have been talking for so long. I'm literally so tired of talking at this point. But yeah, you guys, that is my hair journey. That's all the different phases that my hair has went through. Um, your, my, your girl's hair has went through a lot. So let me go ahead and stand up. I probably should have brought a brush in here. But I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like. Well, you guys can see what my hair looks like today. But I'll show you guys like the length of my hair today, where it's sitting at. And yeah, so that is that is it. Let me show you guys from the back um, from today. Today is when I'm filming this video. It's April the 11th, but I'm not sure when y'all going to see this video. So yeah, let me show you guys my hair. I actually wasn't going to stand up in this video, so y'all weren't even supposed to see this part. But it's a hair journey, so I have to show you guys my hair today. So this is my hair today. My hair falls. I do have layers in my hair, so it's like it's shorter right here, and I have longer. My hair is longer towards the back. So as you guys can see, my hair is falls about right here, like at my hips. So my hair is now hip length. This is what it looks like from the back. I did not brush my hair. I do apologize, but let's see. So yeah, here's my hair from the back. As you guys can see, it touches like my butt crack. <laughs> my hair is like down to my butt crack. I, at this point, I'm just kind of like maintaining this length that my hair is at. My hair has actually grown like all the way down here before, but I cut it to go right back up to like graze the top of my butt crack. So this, <laughs> I feel so weird saying that, but I mean, that's where it is. So this is my hair today. So, yes, okay, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. I remember being in middle school and wanting long hair like this and I just remember like, I can't wait till my hair gets long. I'm gonna do this hairstyle, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Y'all, I don't be doing none of that to my hair. Like all the stuff that I thought I would be doing to my hair, like I thought I was gonna be wearing my hair in like side, long side braids and like, all these different hairstyles and like now that my hair is as long as I wanted it to be I don't be doing none of that okay y'all <laughs> don't do anything to my hair so yeah this was a very long just long video I wasn't sure how I wanted to film this video hopefully this answered a lot of your guys' questions about my hair and you know how my hair used to look and how long it took me to get my hair this length I would say like from 2018 what was that 2019 my hair was all the way up here so now my hair is all the way down to my butt crack and it's 20 2023 so yeah you guys that's how long it took me to get my hair to this point if I would have like put more effort into it I probably could have got this length a lot longer like a lot a long time ago but yeah y'all so if you're on a hair journey please like I used to hate when I used to watch videos about like hair journeys and how you get your hair long I used to hate when they said this like be patient I hated that I hated that so much but I'm like you only saying that because your hair is like long now you're not saying that like if you was in my shoes you wouldn't want to hear that so trust me I get it like that's the most aggravating thing to hear like be patient but literally you have no choice like you can't force your hair to like you can't pull your hair out of your scalp like all you can do is give your hair the love and nourishment that it needs and just let your hair grow and do its own thing okay so that is my hair journey i hope that you guys enjoyed if you have any questions let me know down below i do apologize if i didn't have like a bunch of pictures i tried to find pictures that could kind of tell a story about where my hair was um you guys got to see a lot of my throwback pictures okay pictures that i thought nobody would ever see <laughs> But yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this down below. Also, let me know how your hair journey is going and what is your hair length goal? Are you rocking it, sh you know, short? Do you like the shorter length or are you on a journey to grow your hair longer? Let me know. Comment down below. But yeah, that is definitely the end of today's video. Your girl is out of breath. Okay, I'm tired of talking now. I didn't talk enough. <laughs> So yeah, that's definitely the end of today's video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for next week. I'll be dropping a major life update video. If you go on my Instagram, you'll probably already know what that life update is. But still, stay tuned for next week because that's when I'm dropping it. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. It'll be down below in the description box with the direct links. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.